what is square of a vector the square of a vector is a scalar whose magnitude is square of the magnitude of the vector okay how is that suppose you have got two vectors see a vector and b vector one way of multiplying them is through cross product the other way of multiplying them is through dot product the cross product so this cross product will give you the area of the parallelogram area of the parallelogram formed by the arms of the vector area of the parallelogram formed by the arms of the vector how is that suppose a is this vector and b is this vector then the cross product a cross b will give you the area of the parallelogram bound by this because it's not like something i'm drawing this vector copy it and paste it over here copy this and paste it over here so these two arms these two these two arms form a parallelogram okay so the area of this parallelogram is what you get it through this cross product so this cross product is defined as modulus a vector and modulus b vector and sin theta into n cap this n cap is perpendicular to both a and b here if this is a vector and this is b vector this is perpendicular to this plane and comes out of it suppose this is x axis this is y axis the z axis comes out of the screen from here the area of the vector is coming out coming out towards you in the screen where this theta sin theta is if this is theta this is called sin theta of them one example i'll give you suppose let's take this is our x axis and i'll tell you this is our y axis let us consider two points here and one point is here at four units so one two three four so it's along x axis so that is why this point the position vector of this point is called four i cap and let's consider one point over here at three units one two three three units here so this is along the y axis so the position vector of this point is called 3 j cap so now if you consider these two vectors let us draw the vector now this position vector of point p let us call this point p this, let's call this point q let me just call this point p this is point q and this is o op vector is this and oq vector is this so op vector cross oq vector op vector cross oq vector is 4i cap 4i cap cross 3j cap 4 into 3 which is 12 into i cross j whenever you go from i cross j k vector is along this axis along this axis in the sense is it axis perpendicular to this suppose this is 4i this will also form 4i if this is 3j this will also form 3j now it forms a rectangle the area vector i mean the area of this rectangle the magnitude of the area of the rectangle is 12 and the direction is this way it is x y means this is is it axis that means this is k cap so which is usually 12 k cap so this is one example so this rectangle is nothing but a special case of a parallelogram you see is the square of a vector the point is in order to take the square you have to multiply the vector by itself so suppose let us take a vector multiply by the same a vector through cross product it is a vector is in this direction means another a vector is also in the same direction and on it so the theta the angle between them is zero so that it will not form the area so a cross a is modulus a into modulus a into sin 0 degree that means area bound by the vector multiplied by the same vector through cross product is zero so it will not form an area so the value of them will always be zero so when you want to take a square when you want to take a square you cannot multiply that vector with the same vector through cross product 
so what you are bound to do is you are bound to multiply that vector using a dot product so the second way of multiplying one vector a vector with another vector a vector and b vector through dot product so when you multiply two vectors using dot product as a result you get scalar so it is modulus a modulus b into cos theta i'll explain what it is so this a modulus a is simply the number a modulus b is simply the number b and cos theta whatever the angle that you are supposed to do so how that works suppose you have a vector this way and b vector this way let us say this a vector has got a value 6 along the x axis this b vector this b vector is say um, 2 comma 3 a by coordinate so it can be written as 2 i cap plus 3 j cap that means if you draw a line here this length of this line will be 2 cap so this length is going to be 2 so if that is 2 if that is 2 that is along i cap so when you multiply these two you will get 6 into 2 as 12 and i dot i i is one vector and i is another vector what you get as i dot i becomes 1 that's what we are going to explain right now so it is only 12 so it's just a number suppose if you don't know whether like 2 i cap plus 3 j cap if you know this length is b and if you know this is theta and this is going to be b cos theta and this is a vector which is a so we multiply it as a into b cos theta we call this product of a with effect of b on a so we call this this as a product of a product of a with effect of b on a we call it projection of projection of b on a b vector on a vector that's what the dot product is so dot product is a scalar then what is the square of a vector so we have already found out that you cannot multiply one vector by itself a vector by itself through cross product because the result is always zero because it cannot form a area but when you multiply the vector by itself through dot product when you multiply a vector by itself so a vector dot a vector means it is modulus a modulus a cos theta that means a into a into cos 0 d because if a is this vector a is this vector and another a is the vector on it okay it's the same vector so they make zero angle with each other so cos 0 which is 1 cos 0 is 1 so we are getting a square so whenever you multiply two vectors a vector dot a vector is equal to a square who which is a scalar so the square of a vector is a scalar and the square of a vector cannot be a vector because when you mul multiply a vector by itself through cross product because those two were like ve same vectors cannot form an area the value becomes zero and because the effect of one vector on the same vector is 100 percent so its effect on this is 100 percent a so this is a its value is a the effect of a on a is completely a that is why the product of which will give you a square so this is a scalar